Okay, so now what we're doing, um, excuse the noise that we're using the pump, but I, I like to use uh, Brewing Science Institute's website. Um, they've got a, uh, a really nice laboratory handbook and White Labs has one on their website too. But I'll go down to uh, to the yeast cell. And this is what we were looking at. We were counting all five, five grids. Then we're going to take what we counted, we're going to add them up to 390 cells. It's going to be the slurry density is 390 cells counted in five squares. We're going to multiply that, the 390 times 50,000. And that accounts for the squares we didn't count which is going to give us 19,500,000 cells per milliliter. Then we multiply that times the dilution factor. And remember that we diluted it 1 to 100. So we're just going to add two more decimal places. So now our 19 million cells becomes 1,950,000,000 cells per milliliter. Now while we're at it, we also want to calculate the viability. Remember, we calculated how many dead cells there were in each grid. So we added those up, comes out to 13, divided by the 390, means 3.3% were dead. In other words, 96.3% is viable. What you need to pitch for your beer is at least 90% viability. So we know that our yeast is viable and healthy. We're okay there. Now we need to figure out how much yeast we're going to uh, pitch for a beer we're going to brew. So I go back to uh, the Brewing Science Institute's website and they have a pitching rate calculator. So the slurry cell count, cells per milliliter, they've got 2 billion. We know we've got 1,950,000,000 is what we counted. So I'm just going to change those numbers to 950. So now we have uh, 1,950,000,000 uh, cells per milliliter. Then we have to plug in our desired cell count. Well, since we're making an ale tomorrow, it's a 15 Plato beer. It's recommended to have 1,000,000 cells per degree Plato. Uh, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to change this 10,000,000 cells per milliliter to 15,000,000 cells per milliliter because we're brewing uh, a 15 Plato beer. And then it's asking how many barrels you're brewing. Well, we're brewing six and a half barrels. So I'll just put 6.5, which is averaging up, I guess. And then the slurry it says we need is we need 1.7 gallons of yeast to brew uh, basically seven barrels of 15 degree Plato beer or 6.3 liters. Now, if we wanted to convert that to weight, we would take, uh, uh, in water, a pints a pound the world around, but in yeast, it's 1.2 pints equals a pound. So if I take my 1.7 gallons, I multiply that times eight, because there's eight pints in a gallon, that would be 13.6 pints of yeast, but it's 1.2 per one uh, gallon or one pint for weight so I'm going to then multiply that times 1.2 would mean I would need 16.3 pounds of yeast for this batch of beer we're going to brew tomorrow. If you're harvesting yeast and you've done your yeast cell count like this and you're keeping your yeast for another week you don't know what beer you're going to be brewing what I would do is I would just take my yeast cell count 1,950,000,000 cells per milliliter. And I would write it like that on a sticky note and I would tear this off and just put it on, my, on uh, the vessel I'm keeping my yeast in. That's the information I know uh, I have so that when I'm ready to brew my next beer, all I need to do is take that, go to the Brewing Science Institute's yeast cell calculator and plug in these numbers for whatever beer I'm producing and that'll tell me how many yeast cells. For example, if I was brewing a blonde ale tomorrow that was 12 Play-Doh, instead of 15 million cells, it would be 12 million cells, and I was brewing five barrels, now I only need one gallon of yeast. 
so that's uh, that's basically the way um, we count yeast cells here at Colorado Boy. I'm sure you'll have questions, um, and if I need to be more clear, I can do another video. But enjoy. Okay, turn it off.